research in energy spans many disciplines. Um, so uh, chemical engineering is very involved in it. Mechanical engineering is very involved in it. Physics and chemistry are very heavily involved in it. Um, many people think about energy only on the production side, but you also can think about energy applications from the con con uh, conservation side. You can think about energy applications from environmental remediation and cleanup. Um, but also from little things as long as the lines of reducing, let's say, friction in an internal combustion engine, which will increase efficiency of that engine. And so a lot of these questions are being asked in the Energy Institute, and it makes uh, a very interesting uh, hotspot for faculty to sit down and talk about these potential applications because it's a very diverse group. There has been a very big push uh, in the last four or five years by the federal government or the funding agencies uh, from the federal government to generate um, uh, entities that can bring together faculty or researchers from many different disciplines so that they can talk a common language and generate solutions to problems that are much larger than one singular discipline. Uh, usually the problem with these kind of efforts is location, you need a space, you need the, 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 um, the actual space that this will happen. And so what's unique with the Energy Institute and what we try to do is we try to give it a home um, with newly renovated labs uh, in the School of Engineering, faculty that are situated within uh, walking proximity of each other, ten, five minutes or, or less of walking from each other, or maybe just a floor separating them, labs that are common to multiple researchers so the students can get together and work with one another. Uh, that is what generates um, interaction. Um, and then uh, there is a very, very nice openness among the faculty that are part of the institute. But it's also been a culture, in all honesty, in the School of Engineering, uh, where people will talk to one another and think about ideas, have lunch together, sit down in the atrium when there's a nice day like today to talk about research projects. The great thing about, an ener uh, about a center like the Energy Institute is that a student that does research doesn't have one mentor. You have multiple mentors. Uh, and I find this um, invigorating and I find this extremely beneficial to the students. The reason for this is you might have a mentor that is extremely good in analytical science, in mathematical, the mathematical component, the modeling component. You might, and you would end up teaming that faculty member with somebody that has extremely good experimental skills. And so now you, you train a student to effectively be a little bit of both. Um, in today's research environment, you need students that have multiple skill sets. The reason for that is that the problems you address are not often clearly solvable by just an experiment or clearly solvable by just a modeling effort. You need both to come together.